Whoa, whoa, hold, hold. We're not at the trip. I'm sorry, I jumped forward too much. Let's go back a bit. Dear me, I've been trying to stay positive, but it's hard when it feels like your life is falling apart. Not only was I rejected to my dream college, but every college of my choice. And after that, my acne got worse. I've been dieting, exercising, and trying regimens, but sometimes there are certain things that are just out of your control. And when that happens, face it, control your response to it, and realize you will come out a stronger person. My skin hurts so much. I'm like crying tears. Mainly because I got something in my eye, but my skin hurts a lot. And I got a random pimple on my arm, and on the side right here. But keep looking up, keep looking up. Don't look down, keep looking up, cause you can get through it. And so as the days went on, I continued to train my mind to think positively, stay consistent with my skincare and lifestyle changes, and discover stress coping mechanisms. So here was my skin April 1st, and my skin May 22nd. I'll share stress coping mechanisms and dieting tips for skin in a future Glow Up Diary episode. But for now, here are four tips I did to clear up some of my acne and two products that worked for me. Ice your pimples to reduce swelling and inflammation. I noticed the redness fade and the size of my pimple reduce as I applied ice. I recommend putting the ice cubes in a cloth and resting it on a pimple a few minutes at a time, several times a day. So every Friday night, I do the... It's an Indian healing clay mask. I remember the day after I did it, my dad saw my skin. He was like, Olivia, I don't know why, but your skin looks better today. And I think it's because of this. It kind of sucks out all the bacteria and bad oils and stuff out of your skin. So I just finished my clay mask. Now I'm going to do a toner, a mix of apple cider vinegar and water. I'm gonna use this as a toner all over my face. This is something that I've been doing every night. It smells really bad. This is why I don't do it in the morning before school. All right, so I just applied this toner all over my face. My eyes are kind of burning a little bit because it is quite acidic -y. I didn't get it in my eye. I think it's just the fumes. Um, but this has been doing wonders for my skin. I mean, or so I feel. This method is really effective for acne scars. However, it can be used to get rid of breakouts. Just dip a cotton swab in lemon juice and apply it on your pimples. Leave it on for about 10 seconds and then rinse your face with lukewarm water. If you're applying it on your whole face, then make sure your lemon juice is diluted with water and leave this lemon mixture on your face for about five minutes and then rinse with water. Here are two acne products that I really saw and felt a difference with. The Obagi Cleansiderm System, which is a bit on the expensive side, but that's because it's a prescription product. You can find it on Amazon. The second product is the Super Spot Remover that I swear by. I apply it on spots where I would usually get pimples but haven't yet, and I've noticed that it's prevented me from getting those new pimples just by applying it. But the main purpose of this product is to be applied on current pimples. It has 2% salicylic acid, which helps treat acne. Hello, it is 2 a.m. present Olivia editing and she just wanted to- Oh, am I talking the third person? Me. I want to talk about how in the months of April to May, how I was feeling and how like I stay motivated to keep going because there were so many days where I just wanted to stay under my covers and not participate in life because my skin hurt. I didn't want to go to school with that. There were other things going on in my life. But something that really helped me was I realized that you have to surround yourself with motivation. And how I did that was with this app called Audible. Audible is a free app that has tons of audiobooks on there. And so any chance I got, walking to school, driving, sometimes in class, right when I woke up in the morning, put my headphones in, turned on an audiobook, and I just fed my brain this information because I think it's really important, especially when you're trying to change, you're trying to stay motivated, you need to remind yourself these important values and motivations every single day and audiobooks are just such a great way to do it because rather than driving in the car not doing anything you can kill two birds with one stone by listening to something being productive while you're just driving so if you do plan on downloading audible i have a code for you you can text olivia to 500 500 or go to audible.com slash olivia and you can get this deal where you and you can pay $6.95 per month for the first three months that is more than half off of the regular price. And in this deal, you will get one free Audible book of your choice 
and then two Audible Originals. One of the books that I was listening to at the time that really transformed my life, and I'm listening to it right now, is The Power of Habit. All I can say is it just changed my life, like instantly. So if you are glowing up with me, I highly recommend you download the app Audible, get the book, The Power of a Habit, use my code so you can get that book for free. My code once again is, or you can text Olivia to 500-500 or go to this link, audible.com slash Olivia, get the book and let's glow up. Back to the story. I'm back from the dermatologist. Uh, what happened there was I'm getting Accutane. I know there's a lot of controversy over that medication, but. My doctor said that if I don't get it, then my skin's going to scar. I'm starting that in a month. And today is day one. I just took my first pill of Accutane ever. No side effects so far. It's been about five minutes since I took the pill. I think I'm fine. When you realize you're about to meet some important people with that skin. <laughs> one by one, the Finally arrived. This morning was hectic. I packed 20 minutes before I had to leave. Never doing that again. Um, I'm pretty sure I remembered everything, but it was so funny because every time my dad would back out of the driveway because he was taking me to the airport, I'd say, wait, I forgot something like twice. He was so mad at me, but you know what? Not gonna do that anymore. I'm with do something.org for Nike's campaign made to play. I actually already worked on it and now I'm here to visit their headquarters tomorrow to meet some people and things like that. The whole campaign was about the activity crisis in the United States and really all around the world. So many kids are becoming inactive. They're taking PE out of schools to replace it with another academic subject, which is crazy because physical education is so important and I'm just so glad to have been a part of this campaign to hopefully help um, combat childhood obesity. You guys know how passionate I am about being active and how it can change your life. Anyway, I'm gonna get ready. I was originally gonna go hiking, but I can't, so I'm going into the city. Why I can't? Because I'm on Accutane right now. So I really can't be in the sun too much, which is why hiking is not a good idea. Never gonna stand a chance, heartbreak like a sad romance. Sad that you never come back again. Been three days, now you're back again. But I'm not your man, no, I'm not your man. I can blow your mind like whoa. Why be faithful when you but You know when you like keep trying to fix your hair, fix your makeup, so you like you're satisfied with how you look? Like that that used to be so easy for me. Like I could just do that. But now it's like even after I put my makeup on, even if I tried all this th all these things with my hair, it's just not satisfying me. What? This is juicy. Not many people talk about this. But it's a journey. This is a health journey. And never gonna, gonna stand a chance. Heartbreak like a sad romance. Sad that you never come back again. Been three days, now you're back again. But I'm not your man. No, I'm not your man. I can blow your mind like whoa. Why be faithful when you got hosts? Drop top. So I got rid of a lot of my clothing because I'm trying to transform my entire wardrobe. New clothes, new me, and plus I, I just, I never really had a style and I want cute clothes and most of my clothes are just eh. Anyway, um, oh look at that building right there, that's pretty cool. I went through four boutiques and didn't find anything. And now looking in retrospect, it was hard for me to shop because I didn't have my own style. The best ways to inspire your own style is through magazines, going on Pinterest, Instagram, I know a place we could Olivia. Hey, 
this is Jenny. We are at the Nike headquarters. I'm currently in the Nike store. These are our personal shoppers. I'm Haley. And that is and I'm Chess. Chad and Jenny. And we're currently shopping at the biggest Nike store in the world. And this is very exciting, so we're just looking around. I'm about to get a lot of stuff for her. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna go all out, guys. So come with me, dear. The halogen hum hurts my ears. Swim in the spring. I'm about to go train at the Nike training camp. I heard it's kind of intense, but we'll So tell me who's gonna love you, love you like I do. Who's gonna touch you, touch you like I do. Who's gonna love you, love you like I do. Today's kids are the least active generation in history and are the first generation that is expected to have a shorter life expectancy than their parents. This is not okay. Kids from all around came to the Nike headquarters to run a marathon to raise awareness about the activity crisis happening among the youth all around the world. This day was a reminder of what it used to be like when we were kids. We didn't count calories or track how many steps we took that day. We just moved and had fun. Kids aren't made to sit still. Kids are made to play. Say, I'm walking you to see all.